Billy Robinson scored 81 points to get on the board, and that is the 1992 PRCA World Champion Cody Custer of Wickenburg, Arizona. What a Well, he's either going to take one jump, maybe two jumps, and around the left. He's always going to start left, and I'd say probably 80% of the time he's going to come to the left. But after he got low one time, he started taking about five or six jumps and turning back to the right, being a little bit flatter, a little bit faster. And I think, if, you know, when this bull turns back, he backs up a little bit. If Cody can keep his feet down, I think Cody can get this bull rolling. I think we can get, take a leader chance right here. This is a guy I think can get this bull rolling. What a way to start off a four-day weekend in Las Vegas by riding, riding excuse me, the world champion bucking bull. Yeah, and again, you know, Jerome said, well, he keeps his feet down. I think if this bull goes to the left, he has a chance. But I think if he takes a couple more jumps goes to the right, I think Little Yellow Jack's going to drill it. Well, let's talk about Little Yellow Jack and where he came from. The Berger family from Mandan, North Dakota. They've been raising great bulls for a long time. Yellow Jacket is a PRC World Champion bull. Sire, Little Yellow Jacket. Locomotive Red. Smoothie Blues. Talk about the front line. Here's a fucker. Well, you guys called it tough break for Cody Custer, though. And, you know, just a great bull. And, you know, that bull went to the left all year long. And then, you know, when they rode him, when he went to the left, he started going to the right. You know, he's a little trickier going to the right than he is the left. You know, the bull's kind of getting to be a bet. You know, who knows? He may be feeling Cody, feeling him, waiting for him to go like that. And, uh, you know, you never know. You kind of see Cody's kind of he's looking to that left maybe just a little bit. And the bull feels him maybe. You don't know, but that's, I mean, that's, smart. that's how bulls do. They buck their field. He felt him right there. He knew that he was right there locked in going left. He said, hey, I'm going to the right. <laughs> uh, all right. The, the good news of it is last year, a year ago in round one, Don Kish. Corey McFadden and... Will the third time be the charm? Little Yellow Jacket is the world champion bull. He had this bull twice this year. Yeah, he had him at Anaheim, bucked him off. Dream again at Billings, 95 and a half points. All right, Corey, right to the left. Yeah. Can he do it again? Oh, yeah. Can he ride He's the world champion bull? Come on, Corey. Come on, Corey. Yeah, hey, hey. I With think Corey Mack has little Yellow Jacket's number away from his hand. Great, great bull ride. I tell you what, when you can ride a bull of that caliber away from your hand, we, go, we ought to have big, big scores here tonight. Oh my goodness, little Yellow Jacket and Corey McFadden again. Remember, they were 95 and a half last time they met. Boy, look at this, away from his hand, just like Tuff said, he don't get wild with his free arm. Every jump, he matches moves with a little yellow jacket. The PBR World Champion Bucking Bull, what kind of score we got? Well, the numbers are coming in. Let's take a look at it again. Just a real good, solid, controlled ride. Corey Mack just does an excellent job. Of, as Drone said, just matching moves. His little yellow jacket moves, he moves. He just reacts, lets go of his outside feet, spurs a little bit. What a bull ride. Takes a little shot right there in the chin with his horn when he gets off. But I tell you what, he's going to get a good score. Yeah. And it'll make you feel a it's, it's whole huge. lot better. It's huge. 95 points for Corey McFadden. Oh, 95 man. points. You know, we talked about buying half interest in. Bought it on this bull, and if you want to know a bull that sticks it to a lot of guys, this is the one. This is Little Yellow Jacket. This may be the finest animal in the PBR. Well, he is, and he has won Bull of the Year again. He, along with Dill Dillinger, won two titles in that category. Drill Saucy's got his hands full. 
When people think of clear yellow jacket, they think of a, of a great ride or this and that. You know what I think? I think about seeing this bull and the way they took care of him at the Broadmoor, at the million dollar ride in Colorado Springs, one of the most beautiful resorts ever. Yeah, they had a chandelier in his tent. They had truffles in his trunk. There was a bowl of water that cost more than my new Ford truck for this bull. He's a half a million dollar bundle of beef. And, and I'm not just throwing a figure out. I'm not grabbing numbers and trying to impress anybody. I can back that up. This is a bull. When you add up the bonuses, the $20,000 bonuses for bull of the year, reserve bull of the year, bull of the finals, when you add up the 50000 that his owners got, that's the Colorado Springs Million Dollar Ride, the value of his offspring, the breeding fees. It's over $400,000, not to count his value now. And who knows what he's worth? This bull business, not just bull riding, but an industry within an industry, is growing, expanding, getting so exciting, and the numbers are phenomenal. The people are getting in it. I'm very excited. This is one of the greatest bulls ever. Only eight of the 57 Cowboys who have tried him have lasted eight seconds on him. At this event a year ago, the World Finals, Corey McFadden rode him for 95. You saw that his average score is 92.4. That's, that is an insanely high number. 92.4 is, is a great ride. You get that occasion. That's his average score. No. You know, they, they don't pick and choose where they where they take this bull. He's meeting the top 45 guys every time the bull gets out of the seat. It's not like they keep him close to home. This guy, he goes to Tacoma in Washington. He goes to Baltimore. He goes to Oklahoma and Texas. This is a well-traveled boy. It doesn't matter. He loves to travel. He lives to throw cowboys in the stands. He loves to throw cowboys in the stands. 45th on the money list. He's got him to Vegas. And he's drawn a great one. And he is over the top in a hurry. And that's what Little Yellow Jacket will do to you. That's just, that's just beautiful. I mean, I, I hate it for Craig Saucy, but tonight is the night. It's about bulls. I know we have a million dollar world title race, but it's about bulls like Little Yellow Jacket, who has got it all. He's got power, strength, front end, back end, and speed. He, he, he weighs over 1,800 pounds now. He gets bigger every year. And it seems like he gets faster every year. Oh, he's an all pro. Three men have posted qualified rides in this second round. Greg Potter. Take the lead. Here's Joey Here Newberry on Little Yellow Jacket. This is the PBR butt of the year. Little Yellow Jacket, a classic style. Joey Newberry is oh so close. He may have made the eight second whistle tough. It's going to be really, really close. They're going to have to go back to the to the replay to see if, if in fact he did it. He thinks he did it. Everybody's standing on their feet. They, there's going to be some mad pants if he doesn't get a score out here. <laughs> Let's see what we got. You're the judge, Justin McKee. What do you say? We could all watch it together, and he's on the other side. We can't see it, but I know this. This is a bull that's won world champion bull for the last two years. This is a rookie, one of ten rookies. He's ridden four out of five if it's a qualified ride, and he's going to take the lead for the finals. What do you say, Tuff? I don't think he's going to get a score. I don't either. I think the hand's on that bull. What do you say, Justin? Well, if you, if you look at that, yeah, he probably got his hand on the bull rope on the other side, but he may have disqualified him. I'm going to say a zero. I'm sorry. I love Jody Newberry, but I also love Little yellow jacket. It wasn't definite though. It wasn't definite in my opinion. I would that not. Was. That was definite. You're right, George. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's not a qualified ride. Here Cody goes. Lambert is the man that's looking at it right now on the replay. I, it, it, his elbow hit. His hand didn't. We're looking at it again. Let's take another look. Right? His hand does hit. Yep. Yeah, no, that other angle, it didn't his hit. Elbow, his, his elbow hit him. Jody Newberry looking through the cracks. If the guy rides right-handed, he's been going left. If the guy rides left-handed, he goes the other way. Smart goal. And again, he follows suit. Oh, man. Jerks him over those he's out, top he's out guy horns. And Jaron Nunnemaker is unconscious. He is unconscious. And Joe Baumgartner lies his body over top of the California Cowboy to protect him. You've just seen the two-time Bull of the Year knock out the toughest guy on two legs. You see him shaking his head. He's, he's, he's yeah. awake. I, I didn't know you could knock this guy out. Literally, I did not know you could knock him out. We have seen him get shots in the head earlier in this year and not even fall down. And that, that ought to tell you how tough that bull is and how tough that man is that he's back up on two knees as quick as he is. Karen Nunnemaker.
is one tough character. Well, I'll tell you what, this little yellow jacket, as we talk about the bull, he's been hauled coast to coast. The reason he gets a lot of votes, not only is it because he's a great, great bucking bull, but I mean, he's, he's been everywhere, all kinds of conditions, and he just continues to perform. This is PBR Finals number six, and he's, he's so smart. Lee Aiken said it best. He said, I've been on this bull three times, and he feels like a different bull every time. And uh, great, great bull, son of uh, a world champion. This bull's producing a lot of great champions. And uh, the best news is that Jaren's up walking around. You're looking at a Brigadier General leading the 82nd Airborne, who has given Jaron Nunnemaker, who is sponsored by the U.S. Army, a, a round of applause, 3.5 seconds. The bull rating nearly 46 points. A great performance by the two-time defending bull of the year. And in my opinion, a great performance by Jaron Nunnemaker yeah, to walk out of the arena on two feet. He's got his wife and newborn baby here in Las Vegas with him, and they'll be very pleased to see him on his two feet. That is going to wrap up the first section of this first go, second go around. Really, one of the great animals known ever in bull riding. And Rob Bell is going to conquer him. Around Bull Hector, a pirouette through the air, and Little Yellow Jacket takes a bow after getting the award. You know, it's not that he just bugs them all. And he stares at you. Hi, how are you? He knows right where the camera is in the exit shoot. He stops. They take his flank strap off. Hi, how are you? Now I'm going to go get you know, some I was talking to Little Yellow Jacket just yesterday. I was sitting in on that yeah, conversation. Yeah, out, say out in the pens, he said, look, Justin, he says, I'm not only the best bull here. I'm not only going to buck them off, but, but I'm going to try to throw them into, into about the fourth or fifth row of seats in Thomas and Mack. Uh, <laughs> I'm not only going to buck him off, I'm going to make him look pretty silly on the dismount. Let me show you the bull rating. You ready for this? If the guy rides right-handed, he's been going left. If the guy rides left-handed, he goes the other way. Smart bull. And again, he follows suit. Oh, man. Jerks him over those he's out, he's out high horns, and Jaron Nunnemaker is unconscious. He is unconscious, and Joe Baumgartner. Somebody's going to become an instant millionaire. Will it be Adriana Marais? Will it be Mike Lee? This is Little Yellow Jacket. All this action continues here on this finals. He's the only man to ride this bull during the regular season. He rode him in Nampa for the highest score in PBR history. He rode him for 96.5 in Nampa this year. He's the only guy to ride this bull. This bull's a three-time world champion. Michael Gaffney, former world champion PBR bull rider. Three years running. Little Yellow Jacket is the bucking bull of the year. Three-time world champion. You couldn't ask for a better matchup. You couldn't ask for anything better than this. Michael Gaffney oh, yeah. leans forward. He knows what's at stake. Here comes Gaffney. Little Yellow Jacket. Who's been two years in the Las Vegas Ladies and gentlemen, the oldest man at the PBR. 34-year-old Michael Gaffney has just ridden the world champion bull, Little Yellow Jacket. The bull gets ridden two times on the whole season, and it's Gaffney. The old man gets it done. Tom Teague, Bernie Toppin, and Burgers, three-time world champion Gaffney. Gaffney does an unbelievable feat. He not only rides him, he rides him perfectly. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, no problem. Listen to this crowd as he has just scored. champion rides the world champion bull the 35 year old brings this crowd to its feet now for justin mckee lee garcia i'm george michael inviting you to move over to ola for the continuation of the finals of the 2004 pbr world finals they'll continue next on oln i'm george michael bidding you all a very pleasant good afternoon from las vegas Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.